greetings. Um, I don't know. Kind of in a good mood, kind of not. Uh, so I want to talk about updates and stuff. Because uh, it's been a while, I think. I, uh, I think the first one to address is really mental health, because that's a big thing at the moment for me. Uh, I also made that community update about having to sort of postpone the scheduling things and just do the things that I want to make. So, yeah, that complicates things. It was mainly due to stress and my medication. Um, so I... It sort of relates to my physical health in a sense as well, but I have physical... Yeah, physical there. Got distracted, I need to... I don't know, I don't know. I'm actually waiting for a call, but um... Yeah, my fifth graph, I'm missing iron in my diet, and that's not because of a lack of getting it inside me. It's because my body just doesn't process it. So, like, even if I was eating meat, I'd still have the same issue. So, I'm not sure how that's going to be addressed, but it's causing issues because mentally it affects me as well. Because it gives me cold hands and feet, and that's just annoying. I can't handle it. So I've actually got gloves, hand warmers and a foot warmer. The foot warmer being the only thing that works. And then I've got a desk warmer coming soon to try. I'll see if that's going to be any good because currently my hands don't get warm enough and that's creating a lot of stress and anxiety for me. It's hard to focus. Um, other than that, I'm also being created, created, no, treated for my Crohn's disease. Fuck it, oh, I come up with the weirdest shit, I swear. I'm being treated for that anyway, and I have to take it again tomorrow. I don't know if it's working yet, but this morning I've only been twice, and that's better. I used to be three times today, even more sometimes, but three times is not bad. It's actually quite normal for me, I think. As long as I don't have any in the evening. Um, mental health wise, it's mainly my depression. I'm not dealing with anxiety at the moment. I don't really have it. It's just a matter of getting out and being able to do things that might benefit me. Because the, the thing with anxiety is it's not always visible. A lot of people compliment me on how well I've done, like, doing things. It's also been present in my childhood, that sort of patronising, I guess you call it. It's not a big deal for me, it's nothing. Like, something big for me is probably, like, doing a public speech. That would be a big deal, because I've always struggled in crowds and stuff. I've not struggled talking to strangers or anything, but I do struggle talking. And with my depression anyway, I'm tackling that. That's the main thing at the moment to make me stop feeling miserable. And I don't know if it's working. And the phone call I'm waiting for is actually to address the medication, because I don't know if it's working. It's a bit complicated and I'm a bit fed up of it to be honest, because it's making me a bit more miserable. It's making me physically angry and stressed. It's not good for me. I actually feel a heart attack coming on. Whenever I get stressed, I feel chest pains, I, my body just begins to lower itself, or however you describe it. I begin to detach myself from my head even. It gets that bad sometimes and that sort of relates to another thing, IRL. About how I've possibly made the wrong choice coming here, living with other people. So I don't know what to do about that. Um, that's about it for mental health, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go on to games. In gaming, let's talk about... Oh, I've got a story on it, why not? It's okay. It's improved a bit, but it's also still quite bad, to be honest. 
Like the puzzles aren't as bad, I don't think. But the problem is, is that the gameplay just falls behind. Not just because of how simple the combat is usually. How it's like a numbers game. It's also about how you basically can't beat any content unless you're a certain level. And that's frustrating. Because that makes it just really inaccessible. And the fact you can't even use like a support character in like end game content. That's quite devastating. That's not a good game design. Because now players are going to be far behind and they're also going to get frustrated and not like the game as much. And this game isn't a casual friendly game as far as I'm aware. Even though people say it is, it's not. Now you need to have played a long time to even be considered a casual, I guess. Which isn't even really being casual, it's just being competitive. So it's ridiculous that that's even a label that's given to the game. Really the only way to fix it is to remove credit limits and increase the amount you get from trace farming. Like give a purple every single time you do it. Simple fix. Easy to do. It solves a lot of problems. Now you can build characters with better relics. And I don't know why they haven't done that. The amount of purples you get in that is just ridiculous. You'd be lucky to even see one in one day. So yeah, I'm not even sure whether to increase my equilibrium level. I think I'll leave it as it is until I get to the end end game. So when I've got characters that are, I guess, adequate at beating the end game content, that's probably the indicator. Um, as for other games, Journey to the Savage Planet might be a long way away. Because uh, Genshin's got its new patch, and then Honkai's got its 2.0 patch, which no doubt is going to be big. Um, so it's going to be delayed. Which is a bit annoying, because it seemed like a fun game. But Bell World, I'll play it later today. Um, yeah, Team Fortress 2, I'm still playing it, and at the moment I'm going through my inventory to see what I can do with it to sort of make it look better, I guess, I don't know. But I want fun gameplay with fun weapons, I guess you call it. What I've done is I've filtered out the weapon skins that sort of suit my loadout, and I've categorised them as high detail, medium detail and low detail. And I think the goal is that high detail will be my primary weapons and like low and medium detail will be my secondary and melee weapons. That's basically how it's going to work. I'm not going to bother with Australian, obviously. I've already sold them actually. And yes, I did manage to sell my backpack. I've made a loss of it, but I don't care. I just want my money back. I've got to get into the VR porn stuff. I don't have a headset, so yeah. Also, it's just handy to have the money, to be honest. I might even spend on one car, I don't know. It's hard to tell at the moment. Um, yeah. DF2, I'm still playing it and still trying to find reasons to play it. Excuses, even. I don't know. I found myself a bit lost because I've come back to it after a long break. I did have a really good game the other day, but I haven't peeped yet. It's a bit annoying, really. But I do feel a bit comfortable with playing it now, now that I've had a break. So yeah, I'm not as burnt out as I used to be. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say on games. Games still a bit shit and stuff. That uh, music. As for music, there isn't much to say. I'm still experimenting and finding out ways to make it good as stuff. Um, yeah, I was probably going to make a cover of another song that I wanted as a priority, I guess. I think 
I've got some ideas. I don't know. I've still got quite a few to go. At least 25 covers. Main covers anyway, until I go on to medleys and stuff. One of these, whatever you call them. Yeah, medley. I don't know if I'll make originals, because I kind of want an AI for that. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for music. I'm not really going to change it up. There's no point. I've already got a pretty solid style, I think. People seem to like the music, so I don't really need to change it, do I? And then finally, there's artwork. Not much to change to. I'm actually, despite my mental health, I'm still doing the things that I would be doing anyway. I might make a background wallpaper again at some point. I don't know. I'm still working through these sort of things and I post my work on a Mastodon, for anyone wondering. I started a series called uh, Diaries of This Autistic, which is sort of like a, a diary of the sort of issues that myself and many other autistic people encounter. And it just shows you how tough it is, really, to be autistic in a world that isn't obviously catered towards autism. Or at least even, like, trying to address it in a way that helps everyone. But it's a complicated topic, sure. But it does have simple solutions anyway. A lot of the time it's people just being greedy and, you know, you can't really do anything about that. Yeah, you, know, you just have to look inside and change. I think that's it for updates. I'm not sure if I have any other things to say. I can't remember. I think with the house thing, if it's possible I'll move house again. But I don't know. It's hard to say. If I have to think of like the biggest thing I need to address. Um, probably my depression. Like the problem is, is that my mental health ties to all my other mental health issues. So it's all connected in a sense. Like I have anxiety, I have OCD, I have autism. Have a learning disability that for some reason isn't diagnosed yet, or at least was, but it's been ignored, and it complicates things so much that it makes it hard for people to help. And people often jump to these conclusions that are not true. Like one of the ones that really pissed me off is that I'm apparently not trying to help myself. This is my tazepine. Is that not helping myself or something? I don't even know. People don't think, and that frustrates me as well. I almost don't want to be friends or family with those sort of people. It just annoys me. And it's not even like a single case thing, it's like almost universal. And you can see it incorporated in their lives and stuff. And um, what's another thing that I've got is when people try to help the, the issue that's coming from the issue, I don't know how you explain it. It's like when you're stressed about finances, for example, and you know, you're in a tough situation. And then you're, you're like visibly stressed and people address that and they begin saying like, oh, you need stress management. What? Are you fucking high? That's not what that person needs. They also need support, but they need more than that. And support isn't going to address what they actually need, and that's the problem. And again, tying into that thing that people are greedy, like... When we suffer and we want something done... We mainly want satisfactory results. We don't want a fucking support or anything. 
we just want, want a satisfactory thing. And that's apparently so hard to ask for. Like, even my house, I'm decently happy. It's a good house. Except for the lack of another bathroom. But I just can't cope with other people, and that's the problem. The only way to change it is really to change the person that's causing the problem. So again, I don't need stress management. I just need people to fucking change and stop being a nuisance. And it's not even a hard thing to do. Even worse than that, it's like... I've, I'm having things stolen from me. By people in this house. I just don't get it. And yeah, I think I will override to the police for anyone about to say that. Because I'm getting tired of that. It's actually theft and... Given the money that I'm on, it's just on the minimum wage, by the way. Which, by the way, should have increased both the minimum wage and the money. It's not what, but... I'm just barely able to afford things. Even like, some luxury things, like the games and stuff. And, uh, I don't know. I'm getting fed off it. It's just really hard to cope. I don't think there's any more things that I can do to sort of change that. I even get stressed about the smallest things like my headphones. Um, the uh, screw came undone from the, the thingy. Um, I don't know what you call it, bracket? This has got a hingy sort of thing. It's a V-Mode of Crossfade 2. And that basically came off. And I lost the screw. And for some reason I chopped one at the other one away. And that came out. And basically the way I've addressed it, even though it's not as stable sideways wise, I've just put a key ring through it and that's a simple solution. I'm not stressed about this anymore. In fact, it's probably made the headphones stronger. So yeah. It just goes to show that really the issue is still with the actual problem that's causing it. The cause of what your problems pretty much. But I do know one thing that's for sure, but uh, like um, I, f I have a feeling that one of the people in my house is plotting against me in a sense and you know you could only demonstrate that in strength if you're stupid that's the way I see it because strength comes from the mind that's one thing I've learned for being alive for this long at least and having had all my experiences with bullying and stuff Strength really comes from the mind, and I think if you give people a gratification they want, then you're just a loser. And not everyone is capable of that, unfortunately, so I won't consider them losers necessarily, but you have to address things and do them in a way that both sides really benefit. Like, the person could leave you alone or maybe learn a lesson, and you have peace of mind. It's as simple as that, really. I'm not going to do any fancy editing for this. Um, so yeah, I'll just release this as... And also, like, I forgot to mention because I was thinking about this earlier. It's easy to forget there's, there's a person behind the... I guess the face of the channel. I think a lot of people do that and as a result it dehumanises them. I am just like most other people, I suppose, in some ways. I have my struggles, and obviously everyone listening to this has theirs. It's just good to acknowledge that. Because I don't think there's any reason for, like, violence or harassment. I wouldn't even go to the whole shit that's happening in the world right now. So, yeah. Thanks for watching anyway, and I don't know.
Let me just know what you think about my content, like what's your favourite content, I guess. Just some way of interacting, because I don't really know my subscribers that well, if I'm being entirely honest. I know most of them are here for the Deep Rock Galactic, and I'm sorry if I get burnt out from that. It's still a good game and I'll play it whenever there's a new event. I'm just burnt out from it because I've done everything I can. I've still got to lift all the weapons, but I'll do that at the same time as the content, so... Yeah. And obviously the metal covers will still come on. I only have one more deep rock left for metal covers and then I have other games and even a TV show. But yeah. I'll see everyone another time.